media goes wide after PM News Nigeria shared news of what Sunday Bowo said. Sunday Bowo has declared the Yoruba nation, claiming that southwestern states are no longer a part of Nigeria. According to reports, Bowo made the declaration on Wednesday, Wednesday evening during a conference in Ibadan, Oyo State. However, a full animal identified as a Mick J on Twitter said that they will never allow Igbos and Yorubas to break away from the country. The full animal tweeted, We will never allow Igbos and Yorubas to break away from Nigeria, no matter how they try. Why? Is it a crime? <laughs> you can imagine. Many Nigerians blasted Sunday Igbo for declaring Yoruba nation Why some praised him for being brave. How can a group pronounce whatever it feels suits her? It is time we come together and stamp out all differences for the greater good of all. This can be achieved by a simple referendum so we all can agree or disagree collectively. Yoruba in Biafra land had nothing to fear for as nobody will harm them unless Yoruba nation plans to attack Igbos in Yoruba land, which will never happen. Yoruba and Biafra had suffered enough in one Nigeria. Biafrans are with you on your independence quest. Of course, if you know that, uh, that is what uh, Biafrans have been agitating for. Sunday Bowo is wrong by declaring Yoruba nation. That's another person. I thought he is only fighting killer elders in South. However, if he wants to break, he has to follow it by step. Step by step. Namde Kano didn't rush things. He is fighting for his freedom with sense. There's no need for them to break away because I believe that Nigeria will be great again. The only problem we have in Nigeria is banditry and corruption. Sunday Bowo should take a cheap pill and pray for Nigeria. He has proven to be a comedian. Okay. <laughs> so the banditry and the corruption we are talking about, it has been it has lingered for a very long time. And it is still the uh, uh, most especially the corruption that has brought a lot of all these things and everybody has been patching, everybody has been doing the same thing. Why is it that a uh, prayer has never been made for corruption is uh, 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 precisely and again to even have a banditry to it why is it that prayer cannot do that it is all this this banditry these two things that somebody's these two points that somebody is making is even the reason why people are agitating year round day and we and we see our politicians we see our politicians living larger than life no, nobody talks anything nobody says anything you can just stop and it will end there they are not making effort to make sure that this country stand together but their attitude the way they go about things and you expect people to be looking at them like that because of the lawlessness even from our the so-called leaders the the foundation is faulty already so there is nothing anybody can do unless when you talk about change apc talked about change that they are going to bring about change but unfortunately reverse is the case they are even doing worse things those things that we were condemning even during the last administration before they came on board they are even doing double of that even tri triple if, if I can even term it 100% what's what, what happening before now. So, and you expect people to continue to look why some people are looking. At least let, even, let us even have a decent environment. Let us have a decent life. It is not there. Nothing is even talking about. We have not even talked about decent life. Then is that, you see people who have a decent life that will be able to think of what they are going to be creating, you know, to be to be creative to be innovative but as we speak now nothing is nothing seems to be working if you have a peace of mind you'll be able to think through hunger is there insecurity is there corruption is there lawlessness is there no infrastructure of any kind infrastructure project of any kind forget all this a uh, patchy patchy road they are doing all this a uh, the, whatever they are doing that that does not even have value even to the lives of the people when you are a, a, a going about infrastructure, it has to have a, a meaningful impact, positive impact, especially in the lives of the people. All of this is are going on. Somebody say, oh, you have to be praying. All of the prayers that we have been praying all this way, what is the end result? Because we are not doing the right thing. You cannot be doing the wrong thing and you are praying, I say, it will work. It will not work. God has his own role to play. We have us to play. So if you are doing something that is uncalled for, and you expect somebody to comport himself, it's not going to work. Everybody must do the right thing. And the change we are talking about must start from the top. It must start from the top. When it comes to vaccine, all of them are coming at, uh, they, are, they, are, they are taking pictures, they are taking videos. Who that, who, who that will help? Is that what we are talking about? 
If you want to lead by example, you will not go abroad for treatment. You will not go abroad. You will not send your children as a as a leader. You will not send your children abroad. You will not get things. Just recently, we just learned that uh, the the president's wife just came back. She has been outside the country for close to six months or over six months. And people are asking if the place she ran to, if it's as if it's as you know the way Nigeria is, we we she have gone there. How many president's wife, even public uh, uh, office holder of other countries coming to Nigeria for vacation? How many of them? No, 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 no. And we we go, we we'll be celebrating even with the way they have bastardized our 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 our, our uh, uh, naira. Yes, they still take our hard-earned money to go and lavish over there. And you are telling us that, oh, people should be praying. If you have started the lawlessness, that is what you will get. And that is what is happening. If you think that is lawlessness, maybe from your own definition. Well, that is what they have created. You cannot be doing something over and over again and you expect different results. It's not going to happen. Well, why don't you and your family, your Fulani Empire, um super glue to gum us you super glue to gum us together you know referring to this a uh, uh mick j that is saying no matter what Igbos and yorubas do they will not allow them to leave i don't i don't just get it okay small amateurly talking shit nigeria has expired since 2014 go back to your history class you should go and get ropes they use for their cows to tie down Igbos and yorubas so that nigeria will remain one your diabolical power at expire you shall serve us later in life you know a lot of people are responding to this uh, comment made by this so-called full animal express is gone it's left you behind 21st century century enslavement my friend wake up from your slumber the ball is already in the net but see you are still positioned waiting for the penalty kick nothing again remain in this country called nigeria with the useless constitution made by fulani killers let's be frank with ourselves we can't continue to allow malu to rule us shallow thinking has taken place an enlightened person must have learned about former yugoslavia ussr uh the Yugoslavia, and so on it can happen anywhere whether we want it or not you are a bad dreamer for saying Igbos and yorubas will not live the only hope for nigeria remaining one united country is justice and equity your master britain we bow one day and freedom will come to Africa. May God judge Britain for all they have done to Nigeria. As a Yoruba who is already fed up with Aousa domineering ways, I really, I readily support the division of Nigeria. But until our leaders like Tinumbu are pushed to the corner, nothing will change. Mm, this one, uh, Nalayo, Tinumbu is inconsequential in this struggle. Please, I don't even like the man safe. That is uh, somebody's uh, opinion there. Must everything be out of about Tinumbu. Tinumbu is one man and one leader. If you want to fight to divide the country, he cannot stop it. I have been hearing that Nigeria will be better as a child. Now I'm a full grown woman and Nigeria still struggling. Hmm, still struggling or it's even the situation is even worse now. Why can't you guys understand that this marriage is or marriage of conspiracy by colonial masters will never work? People from different culture and background, different religious and tradition amalgamated together for their own gain. Abba, it's not working now. For the benefit of our unborn generation, give us a referendum. They will tell you referendum is not a it's not in the constitution. So guys, let's say your opinion. Leave your comments down there below and let's know your thoughts. Thank you.